Have you ever wondered how to grow okra from seeds at home and get an unexpectedly high yield? If so, you're in the right place. Okra, a staple in many cuisines, offers more than just a unique taste. It's packed with nutrients, making it a fantastic addition to your diet. Beyond its health benefits, it's also an excellent choice for your garden. Why, you may ask? Well, okra is relatively easy to grow and maintain, making it a perfect choice for both beginner and seasoned gardeners. It thrives in most climates and is resistant to many common pests and diseases. Plus, with the right care, okra can provide an unexpectedly high yield. So, if you're interested in growing your own okra, stick around, and I'll guide you through the process. Our first step in this process is choosing the right okra seeds for planting. The quality of your seeds can make a world of difference in your yield. High-quality seeds are often the difference between a bountiful harvest and a disappointing one. They have better germination rates, grow into stronger plants, and produce more pods. So, where do you find these high-quality seeds? Look for reputable seed companies or local garden centers. You might also consider asking fellow gardeners for their recommendations. Now, let's talk about seed preparation. Okra seeds have a hard outer shell, which can make germination a bit of a challenge. To help the process along, we're going to give them a little soak. Submerge your seeds in a bowl of room temperature water and leave them to soak overnight. This softens the shell and kickstarts the germination process. It's like giving your seeds a head start in the race to become a flourishing okra plant. One thing to remember when you're soaking your seeds is not to leave them in the water for too long. After about 24 hours, your seeds will have absorbed as much water as they can. Any longer than that, and you risk drowning them. Once your seeds have had their soak, they're ready to be planted. Choosing and preparing your seeds might seem like minor steps in the grand scheme of things, but these initial stages can set the tone for your entire growing season. By selecting high-quality seeds and giving them a little pre-planting TLC, you're laying the groundwork for a successful harvest. Now that our seeds are ready, it's time to prepare the soil. A good foundation is crucial for any plant, and okra is no exception. Just as we need a solid foundation to build a house, okra plants need the right soil to thrive. So, what's the perfect soil for okra, you may ask? Well, okra plants love well-draining, nutrient-rich soil. A soil that's too heavy or too sandy won't do. We're looking for a nice, loamy soil that holds moisture but also drains well. Now don't fret if your soil isn't quite there. You can always amend it with organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure. This not only improves the soil structure, but also adds essential nutrients that okra plants need to grow well. So, we've got our soil ready, what's next? Planting the seeds, of course. When it comes to planting okra seeds, spacing and depth are key. You see, okra plants need room to branch out and grow. So aim for a spacing of about 1.5 to 2 feet between each plant. This ensures each okra plant gets enough sunlight and air circulation which are vital for healthy growth. As for the depth, you want to plant the seeds about half an inch deep. This is just the right depth to provide the seeds with enough soil cover, but not so deep that they struggle to break through the soil surface. Once you've planted the seeds, water them well. But remember, okra doesn't like waterlogged soil, so be careful not to overwater, and there you have it. You've prepared the soil and planted the okra seeds. It might seem like a lot of work. But trust me, the effort is worth it. Okra is a rewarding plant to grow, and with the right foundation, you're well on your way to a bountiful harvest. With the seeds in the ground, it's time to consider how to care for them as they grow. But we'll save that for the next part of this series. Stay tuned! Growing okra is easy, but it does require some attention. Indeed, the secret to a flourishing okra plant lies in the regular care you provide it. Let's delve into what this care entails. Watering is pivotal. Okra plants love water, and they need a good soak, especially during dry spells. But remember, while they love water, they despise waterlogged soil. So make sure to provide them with well-drained soil and water them deeply about once a week. Then comes weeding. It's crucial to keep the area around your okra plants free from weeds. Weeds compete with your okra for water and nutrients, and we certainly don't want that. A simple way to control weeds is by mulching around your okra plants. Mulch not only keeps the weeds at bay but also retains moisture in the soil. Let's not forget about those pesky pests. Aphids, stink bugs, and the dreaded corn earworm can be quite a nuisance. Regularly inspect your okra plants for any signs of these pests. If you spot any, organic insecticidal soap or neem oil can be your best bet against them. 
Fertilizing is another integral part of okra care. Okra is a heavy feeder, so feed your plants with a balanced organic fertilizer every four to six weeks during the growing season. And finally, pruning. Pruning your okra plants can encourage bushier growth and better yield. Cut back the tip after the plant has produced a few pods to stimulate side branching. Consistent care is key, but what else can we do to ensure a high yield? Well, stay tuned for the next scene where we'll share some tips for a high yield. We all want a plentiful harvest, so what are the secrets to a high yield? Well, let's dive right in. First up is proper fertilization. Okra, like many plants, needs three key nutrients to thrive. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Each plays a specific role in the plant's growth, from promoting strong root development to bolstering plant immunity. So, how do we ensure our okra gets these nutrients? Compost. This organic matter is a powerhouse of nutrients and a fantastic soil conditioner. Adding it to your okra patch will most certainly boost your yield. Next up, water. Okra loves the sun and heat, but it also needs plenty of water. During dry spells, make sure you're watering your okra at least once a week. Remember, it's better to give your plants a good soaking less often than a little sprinkle more frequently. This encourages the roots to grow deeper, seeking out moisture and in turn, making the plant more resilient. Now let's talk about pest management. Okra can be a magnet for pests like aphids and whiteflies. Regular checks for these critters and early intervention can save your crop. Natural methods like introducing beneficial insects or using a homemade soap spray can keep these pests at bay without resorting to harsh chemicals. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, is regular harvesting. It may seem counterintuitive, but the more you harvest your okra, the more it produces. So don't be shy, get out there and pick those pods. But remember, size matters. Aim to harvest when the pods are about three to four inches long. Any bigger, and they can become tough and woody, any smaller, and you're not letting the pod reach its full potential. By following these tips, you can look forward to a bountiful harvest. So prepare your garden, plant those seeds, and watch as your okra plants reward you with an abundant yield. Happy gardening, folks! And so, in summary, growing okra at home is a simple and rewarding endeavor. We've walked through the whole process together from selecting the best seeds to preparing them for planting. We've discussed how to get the soil ready and how to plant the seeds with care. Once the okra starts to grow, we've learned how to take care of it, ensuring that it thrives and gives us a high yield. Remember, it's all about the little details. The quality of the seeds, the preparation of the soil, the care you provide during the growth phase, and the measures you take for a high yield. Even if you're new to gardening, with a little care and attention, you can successfully grow delicious, healthy okra right in your backyard. It's not just about the high yield, but also about the joy of growing something with your own hands and the satisfaction of a healthy harvest. Thank you for joining me today. Here's to your success in growing high yield okra at home.